friends, Professor Sex here for the wonderful folks at Kinkrate, and today we're going to unpack what's in your femdom box. Let's get started. This bad boy here is the leather cock collar. Command your submissive's full attention by leashing the most sensitive part of their body. This leather cock collar is exactly what you need to bring them to their knees and have them begging for mercy. Let's see how it works. With five adjustable sizes and a four and three quarters to eight inch circumference, you can fit a submissive of any size into this amazing collar. What a more intimate way to be collared than right on your cock. I love it. So think of it like a cock ring and you can make it as loose or as tight as you need it to be. You can also double it up with a cock ring to get maximum constriction. So what's a cock ring do? Well, basically it provides constriction. If you put a cock ring on a fully erect penis, then you're keeping the blood flow in that boner so you can keep the boner harder and longer. Your cock collar can go around the base of the penis or it can wrap around the penis and testicles. Play with whatever sensation works for you and chat with your submissive to see what works best for them. This is the kind of thing that you want to play with ahead of time before you're seen to get an idea of what's comfortable for each of you and then have a great time. Next we've got this great eight piece red ruffle cuff and collar set. You deserve a pretty pet and who says bondage can't be beautiful. Your pet will sparkle and shine in this fancy dress, cuffs, and collar set. This set comes with wrist cuffs, ankle cuffs, this adorable collar, I will be wearing this later, and this really sexy black lace garter. Every piece of this has a D-ring that the chains interconnect to, so sky's the limit on how you can make these connections work. You can do standard connection just like you see here, you can get creative here, so or maybe like around the edge of a chair, do like a hog tie set. There are lots and lots of ways that these mix and match because the chains are removable. And so you can use the chains or not. Or if you have your own chains, that works too. The collar also has a ring. So again, get really creative. This is a lot of fun. And these are really comfy in addition to being super gorgeous. Speaking of ways to whip out a chain and whip your submissive into shape, the folks at Kinkrate have also included this awesome chain lead. I say awesome because they've given you this soft leather handle. You've got this really strong chain. It's just long enough to give your pet a little bit of crawling room, but short enough to keep them at arm's length. You can clip to the wrist cuffs, clip to the ankle cuffs, or right here you've got this collar. So. Again, beautiful, dress your baby up like a kitten and have a great time. Next in our amazing femdom box, these flirty, feathery nipple clamps. So I gotta tell ya, they're pretty straightforward. They're nipple clamps with feathers on them. They're adjustable, they have soft rubber tips so that they're um, like for a comfort grip, but they get pretty tight with this little adjustable knob here. Um, I had this like mental image when I opened up the box and I saw the feathers of um, making your submissive crawl around and dust with their little like nipple feather dusters. So I just think that y'all should do that because it sounds like a lot of fun. And um, yeah, but these are great. The sensation of the clamp with the feather tickle is sure to drive your submissive wild and the look of this is super gorgeous. So fun for everyone. Last but certainly not least, we have what I have been calling the Dom's Tongue Leather Flogger. This has 40 separate 18 inch leather tongues that have this delicious, thuddy, but sort of stingy combination depending on how far away you are from your submissive when you strike. So you get the thud from all the leather, but you get the really yummy sting from the ends of the tongues. Super, super in love with this. It has a little bit of a bite. Absolutely amazing. If you've never used a leather flogger before um, or any type of uh, impact tool, practice on a pillow or a toy first. Maybe practice on your submissive wearing clothes before you do naked submissive because the impact, it'll give you a chance to kind of figure out where you're striking. Also, when you're playing with an impact tool like this, be careful about what's called wrap. So I don't know if you could see, but this sort of wrapped around my arm and like struck on the inside of my arm too. Again, I felt it on the inside of my hand there. On your submissive, depending on where you hit, you're gonna get wrap around to like hips or thighs, which is a lot of fun, but just knowing that that happens, it 
can um, be a little extra tender and a little extra stingy. So uh, have conversations about what each of you like and what your limits are before you play. You also want to be aware with that wraparound to avoid parts you don't want to hit. So you don't want to accidentally hit something like a kidney or like a part of your body that's a little bit too tender. So please be extra careful. Please maybe do a little Googling on safe impact play. There's some awesome body diagrams out there. Um, and just again, have a good time. Start slow and work your way up and come up with a way to communicate on what your limits are. So maybe in your world of play, no doesn't necessarily mean no, if that's how you're playing, but come up with a word that does mean no, or at least means stop, slow down something. Casablanca, Casablanca, the White House, bush, bicycle, unicycle, unitard, hockey puck, rattlesnake, monkey, monkey, underpants. So that you can have a safe play session. Another thing I encourage people to do, depending on how familiar you are with any of these tools or any tools you play with, is to have what I call Sex Lab. So Sex Lab is where you take out time to play with your tools in a non-threatening, low-pressure environment. So the last thing you wanna do is spend tons of money on a babysitter and a hot date night and a brand new dress, break out a tool for the first time, have it not go super well, and then feel disappointed like your date night was ruined. Instead, if you play during Sex Lab, it doesn't matter if things don't go well. That's part of the fun, figuring out works, figuring out what doesn't, having a good sense of humor. Do it when the stakes are low. There's no evening to be ruined. You're just deliberately going in to try to figure out what does and does not work, like science. So maybe even keep a spreadsheet or a notebook for what you do and don't like. So there's my fun Professor Sex extra tip for you. This has been our Femmes Unbox. I'm Professor Sex. I'm here on behalf of Kink Crate. If you're checking this out on YouTube and you didn't order the box and you'd like to order a Kink Crate, you can sign up by going to kinkcrate.com. And for more from me, head to professorsex.com. That's all for now, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>